guys and welcome to my Draw My Life video nursing edition. So when I was a little girl, I actually didn't want to be a nurse. I was so set on being a doctor and not just any type of doctor, I wanted to be an OBGYN. And this is my fail attempt at drawing a baby if you can't tell. So in around 2010-ish, this was my sophomore year in high school, I started thinking about going to nursing school. I realized that doctors pretty much write orders and nurses are the ones at the bedside actually carrying out those orders and that is what I wanted to do. Plus, nursing school was four years and it would lead me to have a career when I was done with school. Plus, I would make decent money, have a solid career, and have a career that would be flexible for a future family. I realized that in order to become a doctor, I'd have to go to four years of pre-med school and then do four years of med school and then four years or more of a residency, which was a total of 12 years. And after four years of pre-med, there wouldn't be a guaranteed career afterwards. Whereas with nursing school, you could go to nursing school for four years and then have a guaranteed career after that. So in 2011, which was my junior year in high school, I officially decided that I was going to apply to nursing school and I only wanted to go to Arizona State University. So I applied to the nursing program there and I got a letter in the mail a few weeks later saying I got accepted. So in May 2012, I graduated from high school and in August of 2012, I started college. I still lived at home and I was dating this guy who was in the military and he actually ended up becoming my husband. So I did three semesters of prereqs and then applied for the actual nursing program. And obviously I got accepted and I was super duper happy. So in January of 2014, I started the nursing program and apparently I had really long legs or something because yeah. So in January 2014, I started my first semester of nursing school. I got married March 2014 during the middle of my semester, which was pretty crazy. And then May 2014 to August, I moved to Washington. I came back in August and started my second semester of nursing school. Then my third semester of nursing school, I started in January 2015. And then I was supposed to graduate in December of 2015, but I thought about doing my last semester over the summer and actually going from May until August 2015, and that's what I did. So I graduated in August of 2015. So in August of 2015, I moved back to Washington to be with my husband who is in the military. And I took my NCLEX on August 26, 2015, and obviously I passed. And also, back in July before I graduated, I actually visited the um, hospital where I ended up working at and met the manager. And she told me basically in July to call her when I passed the NCLEX. So September of 2015, I accepted my first nursing job on a med surge floor and I was super stoked. So from September 2015 until August of 2016, I worked on the med surge floor and learned some great time management skills and organizational skills and even floated to the ER and the ICU occasionally. And of course, I met some great friends on med surge as well. So in July 2016, about a month before I ended my med surge job, I started job searching for jobs back in Arizona because we were moving back to Arizona. And I was trying to decide if I wanted to do the ER or ICU, and I ended up applying to both. So a few days after I started applying for jobs, I actually got an interview, and it was a webcam interview with an ICU position. And I actually recorded this interview live and posted it on my channel, so I'll have that link down below if you're interested in checking out that video. And about one week after this interview, I got a call, and they offered me the position, and of course, I accepted it. So in August 2016, my husband and I packed up all of our stuff and our two dogs and two cats and drove all the way back down to Arizona. So in September 2016, I started my new job in the ICU, and I was super excited, but it was super overwhelming to start. So I had eight weeks of orientation, and when I first started off, I didn't really like the ICU at first, and then I started to kind of like it, and now I absolutely love it. So now I'm just working in the ICU, and you know, what's next? I don't really know. I'm just going to continue working in the ICU, and probably further my education, I just kind of got to figure out what I want to do. Ultimately, I just want to enjoy life with the people that I love, and my family and friends, and my dogs and cats, and just enjoy life. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Leave a comment in the comments below. And of course, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.